Hey, happy Wednesday. Wee! Look at this fancy top. Hold on. This is, who made this? Who made this thing? I think it's Champion. It's a workout zip up, but it's fancy. Look, this is workout wear. It has this thing and you can button it. Like if you want to be mysterious and shit, you can button it. Where's the buttons? Well, we have a zipper. See, so zip it to here. And then you could just cover your face. Like if you wanted to look really exotic or you wanted to be mysterious, you could do like that. It has snaps that come up to here. Where are they? Damn it. Oh, they're concealed. That's even fancier. You can't even see them. Look. Well, shit. Where's the snap? I lost the snap. Well, hell fire. I don't know how this thing works. Oh, oh, oh. There they are. There they are. Oh, yes. So, you're going to bring it around. And I've never actually snapped them. But you snap it somehow or another. And see, that way you could run when it's cold if you're insane and just, like, hate yourself. You could go out and run in the cold and keep, I mean, it'd be flopping like this, but, you know, I don't know. Maybe you could put a zip tie around it. You could hold it on your face like that to keep from freezing. Yes, yeah, Champion, there's the thing. Is that Champion? What is that? I don't know. You know, I found it at a thrift store. So, fancy workout wear. I didn't buy it new. I paid like $4 for it at a thrift store. You know I don't buy shit new. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I do. If there's, if I see something and I really like it and it's not too expensive, I might get it. I try not to, though. Most of my workout wear, I, I get at thrift stores. Can I tell you about my day? Damn it. It's not even 11 o'clock in the morning yet. And I've already had a damn day. I don't even know where to start. Lord, it started when I woke up this morning. So I just came from Harris Teeter and they had some clearance Easter candy. This was 75% off. Speckled jelly eggs. It was 72 cents. Have you seen a price tag like that in a while? Look at that. That price gun came off the arc. Look at it. Speckled jelly bird eggs. So I bought a bag of those. And I got this. I thought this was cute. Little dove bunny ears. Solid milk chocolate. This was a dollar. This was originally four dollars. Well, it's Harris Teeter. I mean, no offense, Harris Teeter. Y'all's prices are ridiculous. Would you pay four dollars for that? Chocolate bunny ears? I would not. Not in any lifetime would I pay four dollars for this. But it was four dollars nonetheless. Um, Lord, let me tell you. All right, first of all, I'm, I'm going to Costco. I have I have gone back and forth on this all morning. I told my younger son this morning I had to go to Costco. I have to go pick up a prescription, and I need to get. They have my Nexus Humectris shampoo and conditioner sets. You get the two big bottles together with the pumps. They're thirty. They're twenty nine ninety nine at Costco. Well, I had bought a couple of those sets on Amazon, and they were 37 something on there with my subscribe and save. Like, well, hell, same size, everything's the same. I double-checked because I check prices on stuff. And when I saw they had it at Costco for $29.99, I said, well, hell, I'm going to quit getting it on Amazon. I'm going to get it over there. I don't know how to get out of here. Dag nabbit. So, I got up this morning, and my younger son was still asleep. Now, we've been having this discussion, and he's, he's tired of it. I know he's tired of it, but I'm very concerned. I am highly anxious about this situation, okay? First of all, let me just say, I love my kids. I do. I love my kids. But when you have kids, you know, just like any other people, kids have strengths and weaknesses. They, we all do. We have things that are our strengths. We have things that are not really our strengths. It's like I'm sneaking up on the roundabout. Come on, Mary. Don't be scared. All right. We're going to Costco this. We're going around our ass to get to our elbow. I'm going to Costco this way because I'm pointed this way. All right. I love my son. I do. He's great. He's smart. He's funny. He's helpful. He's sensitive. 
he's he is just a great person I think he really is not I'm not just saying that because he's my kid he is he's a good kid getting up on his own and getting somewhere at a certain time with anybody with nobody telling him to do it is not one of his strengths it's not my older son is really good about it because he's anxious about being late like I am he's the same way he he worries about being late so he gets everywhere early because that's what I do I try to be early everywhere I go I'm concerned and I've been having this talk with him every morning look starting Monday morning I'm not gonna be here to make sure that you get up and remain awake that's the trick because you wake him up and then he goes back to sleep and he has this thing that he will do he will sit up in the bed with his eyes open and talk to you and be sound asleep now a lot of what he says doesn't make any sense it's kind of gibberish like you, you realize it because what he's saying is gobbledygook like he's not awake he is not aware he's not awake come on van I need to get over there move your ass this day has been enough of a pain. Normally, people speed on this road. Everybody's scared this morning. Come on. Thank you. Well, I got up this morning, and he is supposed to be getting himself up in the mornings. I wanted him to start this week getting himself up. Go to bed at a decent hour. Set your alarm. Get up. I do not want to have to wake you up. I shouldn't have to anyway. You're damn near 14 years old. You can get up. And there's been a whole thing about, I don't like my alarm clock. What do you not like about it? I don't like the sound it makes. You can set an alarm on your phone. I don't like that. You have a 100,000 different notification sounds or whatever you can put on your phone. Pick one that will wake you up. But see, the thing is, he'll wake up and then he'll go back to sleep. You need to wake up and stay awake. I get very frustrated when I talk about this because... Because like I told him, if you miss the bus, you won't make it to school. There won't be anybody here to take you to school. And you will miss school. And we can't have that. You're not going to do that. Oh, Mom, I can do it. Yeah, I have yet to see it. So I said, okay, starting this week, I want you to get yourself up. I shouldn't have to say anything to you. You get up, get ready, you know, brush your teeth, put your clothes on everything together pack your lunch and make sure you have everything and you're ready to walk out the door and then we can't agree on what time he should leave the house he wants to nitpick over like three minutes mom I don't have to leave the house at 745 because the bus doesn't come until about 752 I said about 752 because the, the bus does not stop in front of our house. He has to leave our street, walk up, and go to another street to get on the bus because the bus doesn't come down our street. He has to walk up and around to a different street, and he needs like two or three minutes to get over there just to make sure he gets there. I said, the bus, what do you do if it comes early? Oh, it doesn't hardly, it hardly ever comes early, but it does come early sometimes because sometimes he's had to run to get on the bus. It's fine, Mom. Don't worry about it. I can do it. I don't have a lot of confidence. Because this morning I had to wake him up. And he went back to sleep. And I had to wake him up again. I said, this right here is the problem that we are having. This is not going to continue. And we, we've had several rows over this. Mom, I can go out. I can leave at 748 and be fine. Like, I don't like pushing it that far. 748 is okay. I have enough time to get there before the bus arrives. It's three minutes. Three extra minutes. I'm just asking you to go out there at 745. It's a nice little clean number. 748. What is that? No. Go at 745. I don't want to go at 745. I have to stand out there and wait. Oh, three minutes. Oh, damn. That's how long it takes to cook an egg. No. Just go out there at 745. Well, I won't be there to tell him what time to go. So, I have, I have had him set an alarm on his phone, though, for 7.45. And he picked some loud, obnoxious notification thing to go off at 7.45 every day during the week. So, he didn't get himself up this morning. He about didn't get out the door. And that was with me there. 
So I am really stressing over, over how things are going to go once I start work next week. So there was that first thing this morning. Like, you, you can't do this, man. You can't do this. Oh, and that walkthrough video with the flowers, that was supposed to be posted last night, but the checks never finished last night. And I stayed up till after midnight waiting, and they never finished. So I just went to bed, and they finished apparently sometime during the night. So when I got up this morning and got around to checking in, it had finished. So I went ahead and posted it because YouTube is asshole. So, yeah, so there was that. And then I got this email, you know, every Wednesday morning, if you're signed up for the emails, you get an email from Harris Teeter with the sales. The new sale starts on Wednesdays. So I get this email and it said in there, and I always check, first of all, to see if I won the $100 gift card because they do this drawing once a week. And if you're one of the VIC customers, VIC, very important customer, you're not really important. I mean, you get a little keychain. I'm looking at the road. I'm not looking at this. You get this. VIC. Very important customer. I'm not important. But I've had that thing since they started the program. I was one of the first VIC people years ago. And you get an email once a week. And down at the bottom of the email, they will have the name of the person who won the drawing for the $100 gift card. And there are people in multiple states. You know, Harris Teeter is in more than just this area. They're all over the place around here. They're in, oh my God, I think they go all the way up to like Maryland. Down to South Carolina, Georgia, I think. North Carolina. Anyway, Virginia. They're all over the place. I've been checking that email every Wednesday for years since they started it. I've never won, but I check every week. I didn't win this week either. And if nobody, if that person does not claim their gift card, the following week, the person whose name is drawn gets two hundred, gets two hundred dollars in gift cards. So it's not often that happens, though. Usually, you uh, the, usually the person gets it, and the next week it starts over at a hundred. Anyway, but if you've seen the prices at Harris Teeter, $100 will get you like a pack of hot dog buns and maybe a 20 ounce Pepsi. I mean, it's really, their prices are just laughable. I mean, no offense, Harris Teeter, but damn. Anyway, because let me tell you, I went in there because, okay, so in the email, I'm at a stoplight. So with the email, in the email this morning, they had my 12 packs of Pepsi, all Pepsi products, 12 packs, buy two get two free. I said, well, well, shit. Boogie down. Let's go to Harris Teeter. Well, I had to go to an insanity class this morning. Not that I'm insane, but it's a workout, the insanity workout. I had an insanity workout class to go to. It's the last one I'm going to be able to go to because next week I'll be at work this time of day. I will be a productive member of society again, and that's, that's good. I need it. I need to be gainfully employed. I like money. So, um, so I had this insanity workout to go to, but I thought, well, on the way, there's a Harris Teeter. I will, I will stop at the Harris Teeter and get those Pepsis because that's a pretty good deal. Well, I didn't know how much they were, but I knew they were oppressively expensive. Like this, the 12 packs of cans. Now, the last time I was in there, they were like $8 for a 12 pack. Well, now they're $9 for a 12 pack. God, nine damn dollars for a 12 pack of cans. Why do I drink this shit? I know I should stop. Don't start with me. Don't let, it's my only vice. Don't judge me. You do shit you shouldn't need to, you shouldn't do either. You know damn well you do. Don't lecture me. I could follow you around for a day and lecture you, but I wouldn't because that's rude and not productive. So I thought, well, anyway, buy two, get two, even if they are $8, they'll only be $4 for a 12-pack. That's not too bad these days. That's actually pretty good. Because at uh, Walmart, they're $6.48 for a 12-pack. So, um, typically, I drink the 2 liters, but sometimes I like to have the cans while I'm out and about or whatever. And sometimes I get the bottles. It just depends. So, I get there, right? And, I, and there were four 12-packs of my zero-sugar Pepsis. There were only four on the shelf. I said, well, they're mine. So I put them in a the cart. I'm, I'm looking at the time like I'm making good time. I'm going to get to my class, no problem. I get up front. I go to the self-checkout, and I ring them up, and it says that they are $28. And I'm going, no, they're not. 
this is wrong. They're not $28. So I had the, the lady came over there and she said, oh, what's the matter? I said, well, these are supposed to be buy two, get two. And she said, oh, well, it's ringing up buy three, get one. I think they're buy three, get one free. I said, no, the email said they were buy two, get two. Well, let me go check. So she went back and she was gonna go back and check and this weird thing happened. We're at Costco and I'm not even mad. What are they doing? I mean, it's somewhat crowded. It's not, it's actually not too bad, but it's kind of early in the morning. But it, there is a shocking number of people here. And I still say, does nobody have a day job? Does no one work? Who are all these people? What are y'all buying? Dang, I, I don't know. Anyway, this weird thing happened, right? So this lady, the customer service lady was going to go check the price on the shelf. So I said, okay. They, oh, I, maybe I misheard him. I'm going to assume that I did. I think I miss, I'm going to assume I misheard him. This guy, I don't know if he was like a manager or who he was. He was, he was a Harris Teeter employee. He walks behind me, and I swear, maybe I heard him wrong. You are not bringing that big-ass vehicle this way. Lord. I would just park there, but that thing's parked kind of close. Don't hit me. I near about so, oh, I almost saw somebody hit a Tesla this morning. They missed that car literally by inches. Oh, my God. I was prepared for impact. Like, I mean, it obviously wasn't my car, but it was in the lane next to me. Oh, it was a miracle they didn't hit that car. Whew. Anyway. When the lady went back to check the price of the Pepsi cans, this, I don't know if he was a manager. I don't know what he was. Walked behind me, and I swear to God, he said, they're buy three, get one, sweetheart. And it sounded, it, he had like, I can't do it. it. He didn't sound like Carl, but he had like a deeper voice. They're about three, get one, sweetheart. I swear that's what he said. And I went, huh? Do what? And he just kept walking. Like, he didn't stop. He just kept going. Like, okay. So then the lady came back and she had her phone with her and she had taken a picture of the tag. She said, see, it does say buy three, get one. Like, I swear the email said buy two, get two. But I didn't have my phone with me. And I had to get to my class. I said, I got a, I got an appointment. Trying to make it sound like it was something important. Like, no, I'm just going to a stupid exercise class. I got to go. But I swear it said buy two, get two in the email this morning. And she said, well, look at it. And if it was, you know, come back and, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll help you out. Well, I thought, I don't have time to go back out to my car, get my phone, come back. I don't have time for all this. So I went and just put the drinks back on the shelf, and the tag did say buy three, get one for the cans. Now, for the two liters of bottles, it was buy two, get two. All right. So I went out to my car, and I pulled it up, and sure enough, it said buy two, get two, all 12-pack Pepsi cans. Buy two, get two free. Well, shit. Well, I don't have time. So I got to my class, and while I was sitting in the parking lot, I called them up and I told them, yes, it said that. And they were like, okay, thanks. They didn't, I don't think they cared. <laughs> cool, bye. They didn't care. So I, I get to this class, and I'm so distracted thinking about those Pepsi cans. And I'm sitting there like, Mary, this is the dumbest thing you could possibly be mad about right now. Like, but I had them. I had them. I could have had them, but I had to go put them back and leave the store. And I'm frustrated because I, I, why is this? And I'm thinking, well, people make mistakes. I mean, I'm not mad about it. You know, shit happens. It's okay. But I, I did pull up the email like, okay, well, at least I know I'm not crazy. I am not crazy. So, uh, it did say buy two, get two. So, I, I, but I got to my class and I was so distracted that I could not keep up with what we were doing in this class. Like, I was so damn distracted I just, the whole class, I didn't even want to be there. I just, I kept looking at the time, like, can I go? Are we about done? Yeah, I, I want to go. And I just could not, I couldn't focus through the whole class. And the class was 50 minutes, and I could not focus. But I got through it, and then I had to go to the post office. So I went to the post office. And then I went back up to Harris Teeter, and I get in the parking lot, and I park, and I'm thinking, do I don't even feel like going back in there. I don't even want the Pepsis now. 
I don't even want them now. Well, they're probably gone anyway because there were only four 12 packs on the shelf. And unless they have some somewhere else, those were the only ones anyway. They're probably gone. I thought, no, just go on back in there. At the very least, show them that I, I have to let them know I was right. I am so petty. I am that bitch. I have to show you that I was correct. I was not crazy. Here's the email. So I took my phone in and I, I saw the lady I talked to initially and she was very sweet. This very nice lady. I, she was very nice. And I showed her the email. She said, oh, look at that. Okay. She said, tell you what, you go get them and I'll, I'll take care of it. Okay. You, you'll, yeah, you'll get it for that price. Cause you're right. It does say that in there. Okay. And she let the, the customer service person know about it as well. So she said, yeah, you're right. That's exactly what it says. So I got them by two get two and they were still there fortunately. So I was able to get them and they also had their two liters by two get two. So I got some of those. Um, and then on my way out the door, I stopped and looked at the bunny ears and the Easter candy. I'm opening the bunny ears. So I got my drinks. I'm glad I got them. And now I have to go into Costco sealed up. Oh, are you shitting me? Oh, thank God. I thought I needed the Jaws of Life scissors to get it out. Oh, look. Look at that. A dove bunny ear block. It's solid. Look at that. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's a little aftertaste. I'm spoiled. I love the chocolate at Aldi. But do you know what? I love Aldi chocolate. I think it's from Germany. It's really good. But you know what? You can't beat a good old just plain Hershey bar. I love just a plain old Hershey bar. You can look down your nose at it all you want to and think it's not good enough for you, but those things are good, man. They hit the spot for some reason. Maybe it's inferior. I don't give a damn. I still like it. Mmm. Okay. Very aggravated. Anyway, I do have orientation for my new job on Monday, and it's going to be like an all-day thing. And I was proud of myself because... I have everything rounded up for my desk, all in a bag. I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't take it on Monday. Um, because I think they're going to have me in a conference room all day for this um, orientation thing. I think basically you have to just sit there and watch videos all day. So I'm thinking maybe I better just wait until Tuesday to take my my desk stuff. And I'm going to take a lunch because lunch plans were not given to me. So I'm going to take a lunch and I figure if I don't need it, I'll have it for Tuesday. So I always take my lunch to work. I don't go out for lunch. Back when I worked in an office, I would literally go out to lunch maybe once a year, once or twice a year, if that. I never went out for lunch. I took my lunch every day. It's so much cheaper. So, okay. I know y'all don't want to see me sit here and eat this. It's really good. Um. Alright. That's my treat for my aggravation this morning. Well, yeah. I have to say the lady that helped me out this morning was so nice. And a lot of the employees in there are super nice. They really are nice. Their prices are high, but overall, the shopping experience in Harris Teeter is so much better than like Walmart or somewhere like that. It really is better. It's a much more pleasant shopping experience. But would I ever pay $9 for a pack of Pepsi cans? Hell no. Hell no. Not in any, any universe, any scenario would I ever do that. No. No. That's why I go to Walmart. It's not as pleasant of an experience, but it's cheaper. Okay, so I'm going to go in there. 
you have to prove you are who you say you are. They have to see your card before you walk in. Let me go get my prescription. Uh, and then, I'm not really sure what I'm doing the rest of the day. My older son is going to be mowing the backyard when he gets home from school. I have to give him a little tutorial on how to use the new lawnmower. And he's at that age, well, he's been at that age. Like, Mom, you don't have to show me, show me how to use it. I will figure it out. Nope, you're getting a tutorial. You're getting a brief uh, lesson on how to use it. Mom, I don't need it. Well, I paid for it, and I don't want you to damage it, so you're getting it anyway. It's not hard. It won't take me two minutes to show him everything he needs to know about it, but I, I'm still going to do it. So, yeah, it's super easy to use. There's nothing to it. I really enjoy it. I got out and uh, mowed yesterday. I had to take my, my younger son back to the school. He was doing a little bit of um, volunteer work. They were doing some cleanup work around the, the football field area, and he volunteered to go help them pick up trash and clean up and stuff. So he was up there for a while. And while he was doing that, I went home and mowed, and then I, I finished just in time to go back and pick him up. So, yeah. But, uh, oh, I don't know. I need to go back to work so I can get a break running around doing stuff all the time. But thank you so much for watching and for being here. It is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Whee! I'm going to go brave Costco and see if I can get my prescription and then figure out what the hell I'm going to do. I need to go home and get a video done and I have no idea what I'm going to do. I don't know. I'll figure something out. But thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you again soon.